Okay, we're back. <laughs> Sorry about that. I actually think the volume was fine because um, I did a little test, so I think it's good. So, um, sorry about that. I will just start this again because I deleted the other video. Um, I am just planting up some amaryllis bulbs for the holidays. They make fabulous decorations and really, really, really good gifts. They are perfect hostess gifts um, or little gifts for teachers. Not that I give gifts to teachers, but um, anybody you need to give a little something to, they're great. Um, you can buy them in... Um, basically any garden center um, or you can order them there's a lot of great um, catalogs online that sell them and you can get really cool ones online sometimes what you can buy in garden centers is kind of the basic ones but there are billions of kinds of amaryllis bulbs and they are so um, they're just so many different kinds and you can get green ones and pink ones and orange ones it's crazy so you really have no limit if you do that so this is how um, you plant them up if you buy the bulbs um, first off, first of all, I'm just going to tell you, you want to plant your bulbs um, six to eight weeks before you want it to bloom. So we are six weeks out from Christmas right now. So we are pushing it just a touch. Um, and I will give you a little tip for how you get things moving a little quicker if you're a little behind the eight ball like I am. Uh, first thing, get pots. You, need, you want a nice pot and you want a pot that's about two inches wider than the circumference of your bulb. So um, these are actually pretty good. If you see, there's about an inch, maybe a little bit less on either on any side of the bulb. You don't want to, um, wh what that keeps from happening is it keeps them from getting, staying too wet in there because bulbs always have a, um, a propensity to uh, rotting. So if you, um, if you kind of keep the amount of soil in them a little lower, it's not going to, so much moisture is not going to sit in there. Uh, these are actually um, orchid pots, um, so these have great drainage. Um, anything with a hole in it is great. Um, you can plant amaryllis bulbs and other bulbs in pots that don't have drainage, but you have to be, like, you've, you've probably seen them. Sometimes you'll see them in um, even glass pots with, like, stones in them. Um, you can do that. You have to be really careful about the, um, about the drainage. Uh, because if you pour a bunch of water in there and sit in there, that's no bueno. So uh, just be sure. I mean, drainage is best. You can try it. Just be really careful with the watering if you're going to put them in a pot without a hole in it. I don't really like to mess around with that too much just because it's so much easier to just not have to worry about killing them. Because I did that one year, and I was constantly worried about, is there too much water, not enough water? Um, so these are... Um, this is candy floss amaryllis. Um, it's kind of, looks like it's kind of a bright pink with a with a green throat on it. And um, can you guys? I don't know if you can see the dogs behind me. Hijinks could ensue at any time back there. So I'm what I'm going to do with these pots because these are orchid pots with holes in them. I'm going to line these with a little bit of moss first. Um, this is just sphagnum moss that I found at the garden center and I sort of have been reconstituting it in um, a little bit of water. There's a lot of junk kind of in here too. So, um, so I'm just going to go in there and just, you don't have to line the bottom because you want that drainage hole to be plenty clear, but you should line the sides a little bit so that you can just, this is only to, the only thing this does is keep the keep the dirt from falling right out the holes on the side. So what are you guys up to today? Um, are you working on any garden projects? It was supposed to rain or snow all day here today and it's not. So I'm happily able to do this outside because I make every project messy. Uh, everything, do you guys do that? Every, everything I do um, gets messy. Hey, can you just tilt the camera back just a touch? I have Rich holding the camera thank you you're cutting my head off um so this is just a you don't need to put a lot in there and it's sort of falling um you just have to kind of mush it on the sides and then you want to take um just regular potting soil uh potting mix not potting soil uh, just whatever you have um which always has pretty good drainage in it this is and then you just kind of carefully Put that in there now you don't need a lot because here's the thing i'm actually going to kind of push that along the I'm sort of pushing that along the sides of the pot to help 
hold in that moss right now because this is the bulb. So you have to deal with all these roots. And so those need a place to go and you don't want to totally jam those in there. When you plant an amaryllis, you want to plant it about halfway up the bulb. So basically aim for the midpoint and everything above that you want sticking out of the pot. Let me just throw a little bit more moss in there. So um, if you're late to start these and you're afraid they're going to take too long to get going, the little tip I have for you is that you can take your seed heating mats or you can even, um, you could even use, just set it on top of a radiator that's not too hot or just a warm spot. Put a little bottom heat on there and that'll help those bulbs start, um, start shooting up. So I have read that some people like to soak the, soak the roots. I don't do that ever. I never have. I don't think it's necessary, but some people like it. So that puts me at about, I would say halfway there. And I will fill in, actually I'm going to put in a little bit more soil here. So you just kind of suspend it there while you're filling in around it. There's a little bit of, here, let me move some of this stuff out of the way so you guys can actually see. Hey, I just got a little battery notice. That's fabulous. Turns out that Facebook Lives eat up your battery like nobody's business. Okay, so you're just kind of gently putting that in there. And I will kind of go around with a little bit of moss to kind of finish off the edges, I think, on this one. That's not necessary. It's just, uh, it's just for looks. Hold on a second. I'm going to hit the little, I'm going to close the little message telling me that my battery's low. Talk about going quick, right? Um, once you have this burr, it just got very cold. Once you have this, and you, you just want it firm, a heavy pot helps because, you know, amaryllis get quite tall, so they have a tendency to sort of tip over. Okay, I'm going to just top this off with a little bit of moss just for looks, just around the edges here. Um, again, that's not necessary. You can also finish them off. It looks really nice if you finish them off with pebbles. Um, you can get those usually at a garden center, um, or you can just leave the soil. There's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. So my plan for this is I've got these two green ones, and I'm going to, I thought they'd be really pretty flanking the sink in the kitchen once they once they get blooming. So that's where I'm going to put those two. I found, I have this pot from previous amaryllis years that I'm going to, um, I'll put another one in there, and that'll probably end up being a gift for someone. And I think amaryllis are really pretty if you can find them, if you can plant them in multiples. I think they're really pretty. Um, and so I've sort of been looking for a, almost like a trough type planter that I can put three of them in. Um, and that could be like a great centerpiece. Okay, there you go. So you just do that. Okay, now once that's done, and once you're happy with that, which I am more or less, it's a little messy, but... Um, that'll get cleaned off. What you want to do is you want to water this, um, just moisten all that soil, water it once, um, let the water drain out and then don't, you don't really need to water it again, or you need to water it very little until you start getting a shoot come out of there. And then you need to, um, and then you need to, uh, get it going, give it a little bit more water. You don't even really need to worry about the light, um, so much until, until you get some uh, foliage going on there. So once you get some foliage and some green growing, then you want to make sure you got a nice bright spot, although cool. So that's a challenge in, in our houses. Um, I actually have a room that I just close the heat register on, and that's where I put all my house plants. And that's, you know, the best I can do in terms of offering sort of a, a cooler spot for, for plants in my garden. All right, so there we go. That one's that was pretty easy, right? If And you know what? If you think you're worried that it's, I would say it's always better to plant them uh, a little higher. So err on the side of too high rather than too low because um, 
because you really want to just protect that bulb. And these pots are plenty heavy, and it's anchored in there well so that it's not going to, like, fall out or anything. So there you go. That's, that's that. Give it some water. Um, like I said, put some bottom heat on it for a little bit. If you're a little bit behind, I probably will do that to get these going a little bit. Um, and then you just kind of treat them nice, and then um, you, know, you got great gifts. If you do give them for gifts, make sure you transport them in a bag. You don't take them outside and freeze them the first time you take them outside. Here. The batteries. Here, do we need a, a puppy? She's getting a little bit big to hold these days. Um, but very helpful. Okay, that's it for amaryllis planting. Um, if you guys have questions, pop on and write them. I'll come back after the after the video is over and um, answer anything. But let me know if you're going to do any amaryllis this year, if you've ever done them. And you guys, it's so easy to do this. You don't have to buy those kits at the store, those kits that are pre-made with the bulb already in them. I mean, what did that... It took me maybe five minutes to do that. So... You know, don't feel like you are stuck buying those little kits, although you can if you want, obviously, because you can put them in a really pretty pot and you can do whatever you want with them. So uh, there's my little tip for the day. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.